Hey y'all. I'm back. How y'all been doing since I've been gone? I don't know about that. Me? I've been alright. Got a story to tell you. Hold on for a second. Let me let these doors open. Welcome to Rococo Spine Botanica LLC, where we welcome everybody, and yes, I mean everybody. The geeks, the meek, the sheep, the freak, and the unique. If this is your first time to our channel, and you enjoy my country than a syrup sandwich as voice, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button down below. FYI, I am not your average tarot reader, I am an intuitive reader. That means I read energies. Sometimes I'll pick up a deck of cards. That will be my general reading, shits and shenanigans. Sometimes I won't. That's just what I do around here. If my, re if my messages do not resonate with you, I do offer you a chance to stick around towards the end of the videos. I do this thing called uh, quick picks. Might be a gem in there for you. If you still feel like... <laughs> that none of my messages resonate with you and my channel is boring then you know by all means thanks for stopping by don't let the door not hit you in the ass on the way out and you exiting stage left to all my returning viewers and subscribers thank you for joining me once again please grab a snack a seat and enjoy okay <sighs> hey y'all what the hell is going on out here in Tarot Land? What is going on? I, first of all, I was looking, finna post some, and I look and see where it said I, my last video I posted two days ago. I swear to God. Well, nope, I'm not swearing to God. Let me take that back. I promise you. The last video I posted, I, I distinctly remember making that video yesterday. I've been going away for, for two days. <sighs> well, in the midst of me being gone, I did have to get some things taken care of around the, uh, around the crib. Let's see. Uh, ooh. Got rewarded by the universe. Y'all want to see? You want to see? Y'all want to see what I got rewarded? Look at that. Y'all see that? St. Benedict ring. Yeah, y'all know what time it is. Another thing. I know I said I got a, a story to tell you, but a few things. I got some downloads while I was gone. Um, early this morning, I was waking out of my sleep at 412 on the dash. A whole lot of projection. And I just laid in my bed like, oh, God, Lord, Heavenly Father, what the heck is going on now? Not only was I bombarded with a whole bunch of energy, heard some people thoughts. Heck, y'all got some questions y'all want to ask me. So I wrote them down. Oh, yeah, matter of fact, uh, I think morning inspiration for yesterday was uh, Psalms 105. In full. Also, 1054 could be significant to somebody. Yeah. First question. <laughs> do I know how to read candles? I certainly do. I handcraft candles. Protection, of course. I do not do uh, love spell candles, jinx spell candles. I don't do none of those. My business, my business is strictly based off helping people defend themselves against spiritual attacks, malevolent spirits. I don't take away people free will. Mm -mm. But I do got something special to show you. I do have a client. Uh, she came to me a couple of days ago, maybe like a week or two ago. Not a couple of days, about a week. Yeah, maybe I said about a week. And she wanted to buy one of my candles. My witch is not candle. And I told her, it's a seven day candle, by the way. And I told her when she was done to bring it to me so I can examine it 
and tell her what the deal was. So she brought it back, what, like, I guess two days ago, I guess. And this is a candle. This is what my candles look like, my protection candles. Sell these in my shop. Seven-day burn, $12. Um, I'm going to read on the front what it says. It says, the witch's knot is also known as the magic knot and the witch charm. It has become a symbol of protection against malevolent witchcraft. Now, I know the light doesn't do any just. Let me see if I can. There we go. That's better. See? See how at the top, burn clear. Then as it get all the way down at the bottom, see that white slit? Right there. Was well, a black spot right there. What that black spot is, as the protection candle was burning, it was something trying to get through, fight against the protection barrier, or spell, or candle, or whatever you want to call it. But the protection energy was way stronger than the malevolent energy. There's one little dot right there. Psh. Spirit broke it up like, no, mm -mm. no, you got to go. And you see white soot? And then you can see those rings. That's candle wax, the way it burned. Now, traditionally what these rings of wax is called memory rings. And what that is, is pretty much she probably had to extinguish the candle herself for emergencies because she does have little kids and I tell her don't leave your candles burning you know with little kids so she extinguished them and then when she come back to light them as it burned down it tunnels down but it's still it's still a protection barrier and you see it's also like gray soot around the sides none up here at the top just right here in the middle and it tunnels down. That means her protection was a success. Also on the inside, it, I do have herbs and certain protection oils that I do add to my candles. If you look on the inside, let me see if you can see that. Can you see that? If you look on the inside, clear burn. No candle uh, wax residue at the bottom, just all the herbs. So, this protection candle for her was a success. I haven't did a follow-up with her yet, but, you know, she ain't called me, so I guess it worked. I guess she'll call me if something go wrong. Well, that's that. that was for that question. Next. Somebody wondering what my North Node is. I can't tell y'all that. I can't tell you that. I wish I could, but I will tell you this. Uh, I'm a Libra. My birthday is October 11. Yep, same as Cardi B, but I'm not as wild and crazy as Cardi. I probably was in my younger days, but not so much anymore. Another question. How many languages do I know? I know quite a few. I'm fluent in French and Spanish. I know a little bit of German, a little bit of Portuguese, and I'm currently trying to learn Japanese. Uh, how tall am I? Uh, I'm I'm short. I'm pretty short, chick. I ain't gonna lie. I'm like knee high to a frog's ass. Uh, I'm like 5'2". Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm 5'2". And yeah, I also heard I want somebody want to know how many kids I got. Can't tell you that either. Got to protect that energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, I picked up on two energies. I'm gonna say that for another video. I ain't going to get into that. I said I was going to make this short and sweet. And no, 
I ain't doing uh, quick picks tonight. Mm -mm. But I did. I picked up on two energies. Two practitioners. One young and one older. Both feminine energies. Like I said, that's going to be a story for another day. But this morning I was sitting in my kitchen. Hmm. Should have known something else was going on. Sitting in my kitchen, drinking some coffee. And all of a sudden, I got a shooting pain right up under my rib cage. Wasn't like a cramp. I'm thinking one day, I've been drinking this coffee. And no, it wasn't that. Because it came and then it left. And then it didn't happen no more. I was like, well. Then I started getting shortness of breath. I was like, that's hella odd. Did somebody get attacked? Did somebody get stabbed? Maybe shot in the side? Because that's what that pain felt like. It probably wasn't as, as intense in actually getting stabbed or shot. But oh baby, I felt it. And what confirmed it is when I was picking up my children, seeing a police helicopter circling not over my house, but just like the police, the the chopper was flying. I'm like, oh, okay. Another thing. Right here. And the crease of my elbow got real hot. And I'm like, what the hell? And I was like, hmm. So, like I said, I don't know. I might get flagged for this. I don't care. But, I'm going to send somebody shooting up. Probably sharing needles. That's, that's quite unfortunate because you see. That was a dirty needle. Somebody sharing a dirty needle. What people that uh don't know. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That that was disturbing. That was a disturbing energy. Yeah. Somebody passing around dirty needle to their friends. Whoever it is they getting hot with. Mm. Lord have mercy on your asshole. Okay. Now, sit down for a second. Got a story to tell you. Yesterday, my kids was outside playing with some of the neighbor kids. And... I'm in the kitchen washing dishes. My daughter come running in the house. Mama, 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 it's a baby in the street. And I'm like, um, okay. She's like, it's, the baby is running down the street towards towards the, the, the big street. I'm like, oh, okay. So I come outside. Little bitty baby, can't be no more than two or three. Going straight, heading straight for the main street in oncoming traffic. I just put my hands on my head like, Lord, okay. Here we go again. So I'm the walking down the, the steps slowly. And a man passed the baby. And I'm like, so this motherfucker ain't going to try and stop this baby. He kept walking past him. So he come like come a little closer towards my way. I'm like, sir, did you see where that, where that baby came from? He's like, it's a door open down there, but shit, I don't know. And he kept went on about his bed, and I just shook my head. So I'm walking, and the baby getting closer to the corner. I'm like, oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh my god. I put my hands on here, like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And I told my daughter, go run and try to catch her. I'm finna go knock on these people's door. So she running. And got the baby. And at the same time, I'm like, baby, no, stop, baby, no, no, come back, baby. Come back. I'm like, Lord, have mercy. So I knock on people's door. I'm like, hey, uh, 
I'm from up neighbor up from up the street. And my babies saw this little baby going head first into intersection and I made them stop her. I don't know if that was a test for me. But my heart was pounding. I had to sit down for a second. And then I got to thinking. Like, what if I when what if my kids wouldn't have been out there? And they, apparently that baby got out the house. Opened the door on her own. Like I said, what if my kids went outside? That would have been a tragedy. That's what I was thinking, right? But then I got to thinking like, hmm, well, the police station is right down there, but that ain't what I saw happening. I didn't see no police intervening. What I saw was tragic and dead. Now, it's possibly could have interfered with somebody calling. And you know what? Just this one time, I'm fine with that. Because you see, it would be a different story if me and my kids went out there. And this just happened. And I end up hearing about a tragedy on my blog. But for me to see this little girl running straight towards danger and me not do nothing about it, I would be a coward. Blood would be on my hands. But then Spirit asked me, if you had a chance to inflict the maximum amount of pain on your enemy or a person that has ill will to you, would you take it? And apparently, my answer was no. See, I don't know who that baby belonged to. Could have very well been somebody that's spiteful and hateful towards me. But you see, in the midst of a war, or a spiritual war, or whatever or not, a person with honor will never lose their compassion. And yes, it is casualties of war. That's just how it is. But like I said, If a, a warrior is able to prevent as many casualties as possible, one should take the opportunity to do so. Now, if an effect was karma for somebody and not intervene, then, you know, I do have to answer for that. From the divine. Then again, maybe I won't. Like I said, maybe it was a test. to pretty much prove where my heart is at. Like I said, if I was to stand there and watch that little baby go straight in into the middle of traffic, I think I probably would have got more karma than me just intervening in a possible tragedy. That was the options I had to weigh out. So, I intervened. Because I still feel like if I would have saw something, if I would have known that something happened to that little girl, and I didn't prevent a tragedy from happening, oh yeah. Spirit would have been on my top. But it was still a test to see where, where I was at with it. And for reasons. Unbeknownst. To a lot of you. I think it was spirit. Weird way of asking me. Do you really want to see. Your enemy's corner. And I think saying enemy is a poor choice of words because I don't have enemies. You see, like I said, 
If a person is beefing with me and I don't know about it, they beefing with they self. So, I guess I passed my test, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, a real warrior, even in battle, never loses their compassion and their dignity. They understand there will be casualties of war. But it's our job as warriors to prevent as many casualties as possible. So, whoever is watching my video, and that was probably your child, you're welcome. Hmm. Anywho, another thing before I go, I wanted to say, somebody is still getting spiritually attacking their sleep. Whether it be bad dreams or weird ass fetish fantasies or you you see where I'm going there with that. You know you can always do I do not consent in the spiritual realm too. Right before you go to bed. Yeah. That I do not consent, it works over in the spirit realm too. If you don't know the right words to say, you can simply say, I do not consent before you lie down. Or if you want to get a little more in depth with it, you can say this. My body and my spirit is spoken for. No monitoring and hovering spirit shall pass the barrier that has been set in place by the divine. I do not consent. And that's it. I'll say it again in case you missed it. My body and my spirit is spoken for. No monitoring and hovering spirit shall pass the barrier that the divine has set in place. I do not consent. I say. Okay, lovely people. Until next time. I'm gonna lock up this storefront. T T Y L. Bye, y'all. <laughs>